I miss them so much while they were gone to camp. The house was so quiet. And all and I could say like, is, oh God, it's Thursday already. It's refreshing to come home after you've been around boys all day. I mean, I love them, but you know, they get on my nerves after a while. <laughs> we have fun when we get home. Sean understands the difference between leopard and zebra and <laughs> that I like rhinestones. My understanding of the camp was to help them bond as a team and, of course, go over place. But I see it was much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just feel like he's grown up some. I think football matures him, you know, and has really given him a lot of, of self-discipline and, and independence. Uh, he's played football forever. In fact, he really started when he was about four years old. I'm just most proud, I guess, because he's set goals and he's worked to achieve them. Basically, in football, it, it builds you, in my opinion. It makes you, you know, into a man. If there's two people in my life that I remember right now is my head football coach in high school and my senior drill instructor in the Marine Corps. And come Friday night, we have very much a ritual before every game. We, I have to kiss him. I have to see him before the game. I, I, go see him at halftime too, so I can let him know what I, I think the they big, should do. I usually get the big, what in the, is going on? I can count on uh, constructive criticism, yes. right? I'm not scared to walk right down there and meet him at the gate and be like, Sean, come here. What's your defense doing? I mean, because I'm a defense girl. I don't love offense. I mean, I get <laughs> that offense puts numbers on the board, but let's all be clear here. Defense wins ball games. So I have very vocal. I don't think it's bad, though. No, no, it's not bad. But yeah, we can't wait for the season. This has to be the season. Hopefully we can get to this championship and uh, everybody gets their goals done by the end of the season. Our coaches work really hard to make sure that our kids are ready to play. And, you know, when you've done that, you know, win or lose, you can just hold your head up high and be content with the job that you've done.